Okay, what was that? It was an energetic target and it was composed of a bullet sensitive thermite mixture. I put this online a few years ago now, so I thought I might make a better movie of it. I'll do a quick run through of the chemistry that makes it work. Anyway, you can define thermite as a composition of a metal oxide and a metal. So in this target we're using copper oxide and aluminium. If we look at the reaction equation, in simple terms the free metal has a greater affinity for the oxygen than the metal in the metal oxide, so that'll swap over during the reaction. And since the formed oxide is more stable, there's a release of energy in the form of heat. What we can do is look up the properties of this reaction. So we can see why copper oxide and aluminium are chosen. So if you look at this particular reaction, you'll notice the very high P of the reaction, particularly the calories per volume. Also take note of the state of the products. The oxide comes out as a liquid and the, the metal is a liquid with a gas transition. The fact that the product is a gas that's what allows the reaction to proceed at such a fast rate. You'll also notice the reaction temperature is only just barely at the boiling point of copper. This means that as soon as the reaction wave passes through the target as a gas, it'll condense straight back into a liquid and that explains why there's very little explosive force in the target and it won't damage anything around it, at least not by explosive blast. So you're in effect creating a, like a splash of liquid metal. So creating a fire is a definite hazard. So just use your common sense with that. Anyway, let's make a target. What you'll need is, you'll need the aluminium, the copper oxide, but you'll also need a, a scale, something to mix it in. And I use matchboxes as well as tape to bind it up. Now to find the the ratio that we need to use to mix the reactants. We look at the chemical equation. So 3 moles of copper oxide to 2 moles of aluminium. So if we find the molecular weight, work it all out, you're going to end up with for every 1 gram of copper oxide you'll need 0.226 grams of aluminium. So I'll make it simple and I'll use 100 grams of copper oxide and 22.6 grams of aluminium. So just weigh them out, pour it into a pot and just give it a shake to mix it all together. Now I'll just spoon it into a matchbox, get as much in there as you can, then you want to bind it up with tape. I'm using duct tape here. I'll normally use masking tape because it's easier. The tape you use does have some influence over the effect. Usually the stronger the tape, the, the bigger the effect, but you don't want to use so much that you're cushioning the charge. Then you can stick on a day glow post-it note just to finish it off. Draw a little target on there if you want. Well I thought I'd better mention something of the sensitivity of the mixture. Well you can belt it as hard as you want with a hammer and you'll never go off. At least I've never seen it happen. And even on the high speed, you don't see a spark or anything. It's also not overly sensitive to a match. I'm not saying it's not flame sensitive, because it will if you hold a match to it, but... But even when the red part of the match hits the mixture, it doesn't ignite. Now by using a blowtorch you can get a red glow and then it will ignite. 
it's important to note that I'm using 200 mesh aluminium which isn't that fine it's not pyrotechnic fine it's not flash powder fine it's used for resin filler and things like that so the finer the aluminium you can expect the more sensitive it is to flame and impact and the reaction rate would be faster as well anyway let's shoot a few with the rim fires you need to place the target against the steel backing to guarantee the ignition this shot was with a 22 at about 25 yards the 17 sometimes works sometimes doesn't so you always use steel anyway with the center fires you won't need the steel in this shot it's a 2506 and it's a free hanging target on a string if we look at the 22 shot you'll see the smear of copper powder on the back of the cardboard you'll see also notice no damage to the cardboard using subsonic 22s can be unreliable in this shot you'll see a spark but no ignition and sometimes you'll get a hang fire anyway that's all I know about it so I've used quite a few if you choose to do it um, just use your own common sense and have fun